Hey guys, here with another Galaxy Note 3 video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize or improve the experience of the home button. Why? Because um, by default, when you double tap here, you're always going to get the S voice, and that's one service that a lot of people is not going to like, including myself. I rather have Google Now. Um, another thing that it does is that for example it also makes the phone a little bit more laggy when you're pressing there for example if you tap right here you see that there's a little delay from the draw to the home screen that's because it's waiting to see if you press the button twice that's why but let's go ahead first of all let's go ahead and eliminate the double tap function here of S voice let's go ahead and click here once you open it up click settings here this is gonna be set by default make sure you uncheck it and that's it once you click back when you double tap you're no longer gonna see the s voice another thing look at this look at the improvement there see that there's no delay at all that's because we deactivated that but now i want to use this double uh, tap for something right because i want to put here google now so there's an app which is not new it's an old app it's called home to shortcut uh, what this app does is that it lets you customize the double tap feature of the home button. Keep in mind, this works on any Galaxy phone, and it also works on any phone that has a, a, a home button. So, for example, here I'm going to choose the app that I want uh, it to launch when I double tap. Uh, you could do any app that you want. If you want to choose the music player, you could do that. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead and choose Google now because I use this a lot and I want to have fast access to it. Um, also, you can also customize these keys, the, the settings and the back button by clicking right here. You could go ahead and customize those button as well, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, over here, you could control the responsive time of the button for uh, default is set to normal. I would leave it there. If you think it's taking too long, the reaction time, you could go ahead and put it in short or very short. You could do that, but I'm leaving it in normal. Over here, we're going to choose the home application that I'm always using, the, the one that you're always using, and that's the launcher. Uh, in my case, I'm using the uh, smart launcher, but if you're using Apex launcher, Nova launcher, or the, uh, the default TouchWiz, you would choose TouchWiz if you're choosing the default. I'm choosing Smart Launcher. Let's go ahead and choose that. And the final step here is to, uh, when you close here, there's going to be a dialog that opens up and it says choose the complete action usage. Is You're going to make sure you choose that as your uh, default as always. But sometimes, let's go ahead and cl close there. Like you see right there, I didn't get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead here. Let's go ahead to Smart Launcher. Let's go ahead and choose, because um, my default launcher is Smart Launcher. So let's go ahead and choose, wait a second, I'll go ahead here. On the Galaxy No, you would have to click here, go here, over here to Smart Launcher. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Default, Clear Default. Let's go ahead and clear back. Uh, you could have also done this, click here, here, and choose here, it would say it's smart, the launcher, you go ahead and clear. And it will also do the same thing. Now let's go ahead back to the app. Let's go ahead here. Uh, this is already set up like you see right there. Now when we go to the final step, we should see the dialogue right there that it is. Uh, click here and click always. Now we're done. So now when we double tap, voila, there you go. Now finally, I have my Google Now as my default double tap app. And like I said, you could choose any app that you want. You could choose the music player, you could choose the alarm, any app that you want as the double tap there. And like you see, if you go back here, you're still gonna have that little delay that we had before because it's still waiting for the phone to um, wait to see if you ask, do the double tap. But I rather have the Google Now available by by double tapping, which is awesome. And that's it guys, I hope you guys like this um, tip. Uh, keep in mind that's not a new tip. This is a very old app, but a very very good app and it works on any Galaxy phone that you have or any uh, phone that has a home button. So that's it guys. Hope you guys like the video. Till next time.